If there is silk work on the edge of the sleeves, kola or the daman means the extreme end or skirt of a garment, then this two should only be up to four fingers in width. If the tie together means the belt of the robe or waistcoat is made from silk, then up to four fingers in width is permissible and the silk buttons are also permissible. Even the crest of a topi means a praying cap of four fingers in width is permissible. The part of the trousers through which the trousers string run is also permissible in silk if it is up to four fingers in width. A design of a pan means a bitter leaf or a mango like design on the shoulder or back of a jubba or an achkan means long button coat is also permissible if it is up to four fingers wide in silk. This ruling is only when the pan means the design etc is decorated in such a way that the fabric cannot be seen. If it is not decorated then even if it is more than four fingers in width it is permissible. If a patch from a silk fabric was sewn onto any other fabric then if this patch is up to four fingers in width it is permissible and if it is more than that it is impermissible. If silk was filled into a fabric just as wool is filled into a fabric but the outer fold and the lining are both cotton fabric then to wear it is permissible and if either the outer fold or the lining is silk then it is impermissible. In the same way, the silk lining of a topi means a praying cap is also impermissible and a silk border of up to four fingers in width is permissible. If lace was attached to a topi means a praying cap or if a brocade or light brocade lace was attached to a turban and it is less than four fingers in width, it is permissible otherwise it is not. If there is silk work on different parts of a garment etc it will not be gathered meaning if it is not more than four fingers in width at one place but if it is gathered or added up it will exceed it this is not regarded as being impermissible. Thus in the embellishment of a garment if there are silk stripes on different parts it is permissible as long as no single stripes is more than four fingers in width. The same ruling is regarding floral patterns and embellishments. It should not be more than four fingers in width at one particular place and if the design of a flower etc. or any other design was made in such a way that only silk can be seen which is known as embellishment and where the fabric is not seen at all then such work or needlework cannot be regarded as being in different places miscellaneous. If this type of silk or zari work is on a topi, achkan or waistcoat or on any other garment and it exceeds four fingers in width then it is impermissible. For the stripes not to exceed four fingers in width is only necessary when the stripes are in the woof and if it is in the warp and the woof is cotton then it is also permissible in the circumstance when it is more than four fingers in width. If a fabric has been made in a manner whereby one thread is cotton and the other is silk but when looking at it it appears to be made purely from silk. In other words this is in the case where the cotton is not visible then this is not permissible.